Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to another stitch with me where I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> Get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, we are going to work on some old world map two today. It's going to be a little bit different because I have a little tiny little wireless mic that I've started using. Uh, I think it just provides better sound. And uh, as long as I can stay focused, hopefully better videos. So we're going to open up Old World Map 2. I did do about three or 400 stitches so far this week since our last, probably actually probably more, since our last little uh, swarway, swalway, swalway, swalway. And then you could tell I was messing around with my pattern keeper earlier. Um, so careful watchers will realize that I am using a different, uh, what you call it, uh, section of the map than I have been. Um, I have this part that I've been working on, but I kind of reached the part where I was like, you know what, I just want to stitch a bunch of stitches at a time, and I'm just going to work on this kind of this general area right here. So let me scoot up a little bit, scoot this back a little bit. I'm using my Nurge, uh, which I've talked to you guys before about. I'm finally able to kind of jerry-rig my, uh, where's my Nurge? Um, I can put a link on this video to it if you guys are interested. Um, but, uh, love this thing. Absolutely love this thing. I When I got this thing, it took me a couple different tries, probably three or four tries to actually reach a point where I enjoyed using this um slide my camera back a smidge try to stabilize it a little bit um and so it's one of those things where i think you just have to kind of get in the get in the rhythm of doing something and then you finally kind of get over the hump so to speak and you're able to kind of move forward with it um of course did i just do all that and then not bring up a it's potentially daunting. I'm going to work on some, well, oh, not blank. Blanc. Sorry, blanc. I'm going to use 3865 here. 3865. What am I doing? I don't know why I take my glasses off my eyeballs. Don't know why I do that. We'll see here. Um, all right. So I've been working on designs all morning. I got some good ones uh, coming out this next couple of days, I hope. Some monochrome. I got a uh, column short dragon monochrome. He's kind of a short dragon, and so he's not huge. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I've got this tunnel. I call it tunnel walk. Um, it's another monochrome. Um, got a lot of different little monochromes that are kind of popped out and then I was playing around with uh, I was playing around with um, what you call it fabric choices I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to get any specialty fabric for what I was doing and that wasted some time because it's like one o'clock now and I haven't gotten any stitching done and I think I came up here without a needle which is my standard level of unpreparedness. All right, hang on there, guys. Stand by. Hold on, can I put it on pause? Camera is a little different. Pause. All right. We're back. Back, baby. I'm going to slide my camera so it's a little bit more level. Got my standard 26. Huh, got some hot sauce on my finger. That's not a good thing. Not a good thing if I rub my finger, or rub my eye with that finger later. Okay, kids. All right, so I'm going to do some two-handed stitching with this. So, first we're going to start with pin stitch. I take a, you know, the length of your uh, floss that you use depends really on personal preference, in my opinion. Um, I don't like using super long pieces of floss most of the time because I just find that I tangle it too easily. It's just me. Um, so what I'm going to do here is 
uh, take one one strand double it up on itself bring the two ends together then we're going to go ahead and attempt our threading the eye of the needle so to speak there we go there we go get myself a couple inches there got a nice little ah come here got a nice little loop on the end so we're gonna go down to start we're gonna find some stitches here to work on ah what did i just do you're silly you're so silly all right so we're gonna continue on with this which what does that mean where am i what's going on what have we done it's actually down here there there we go goes that on my and you can see it so it goes down the bottom left pull it through to you get you know maybe like a little just just enough that you feel comfortable with with the loop there then you go up to the upper right like so then you're gonna just go through to me it doesn't really matter which way I go through the loop there may be a way it matters I don't I don't know it doesn't matter to me kind of gently cinch it down so that this is tucked in the loop but then what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go back down through the bottom left and pull that little loop looped part with us all right there's that so there's our little first half stitch which I'm gonna stitch vertically here and do some half stitching but okay so now and this took some getting used to and I, I play a lot of video games so I am or I have uh, so I have pretty good eye hand coordination and even when I can't see my other hand I still have pretty good coordination you're gonna have to practice this everybody has to practice it so my left hand on top is controlling the needle on the top side my right hand controls the bottom side so I got the needle in my finger there or not in my finger not yet at least um i'm gonna go down here nope okay so i got that stitch already bottom right up pull it through top left down pull it through so again you'll get you'll get good at it when you practice it but it's literally and this is another reason why i like short pieces shorter pieces of floss if i had a really long piece of floss as i take it underneath i would have to stretch it out so far and i that no 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 i just no that's just going to cause problems for me so so we're going to see how fast i can stitch sort of while talking and doing this Okay, so uh, bring guys up to speed. Let's see here. Let's talk about. We got a lot of things to talk about. This is like my my weekly therapy session. First, I get to make sure the microphone's actually where I can talk to it. Um, my weekly therapy session, cross stitch therapy session. Um, so where we are with my back situation right now is we're gonna find out. Monday, Tuesday, possibly Wednesday at the latest, when for sure I'm having my back surgery. Um, my hope is that uh, it'll be December 19th, but it could be February 6th. And there are good reasons for that. Um, It's hard to get a surgery schedule at the end of the year uh, unless you're an emergency. And I'm not an emergency as of yet, which is great. Um, not that I think I'm going to get that. I don't think I'm going to get there. But um, So anyway, so the difference, the, the reason why it's such a difference in terms of uh, dates is because um, there is an individual who is supposed to have some sort of procedure done on that day. And I don't know if it's insurance or the hospital or somebody basically is not wanting to have that procedure done on that person. Um, I don't know what the rationale is. I don't know what, I mean, obviously it's a HIPAA thing. I don't know anything about the case 
other than the surgeon has to make some sort of a presentation before a group of people or a person or something like that. If the surgery gets approved, that person can go ahead with their surgery on the 19th and um, I have to wait until February 6th. And the reason why it's February 6th is because the second doctor, there's two doctors that are involved. The first doctor does the, he's the neurosurgeon. And then the next doctor is the, he's more of a general surgeon that specializes in vascular medicine. And he, his specialization really is just all in this surgery that um, I'm going to have with the AILF, A-L-I-F, yeah. Um, and the reason why he's needed is because um, in an AL, ALIF, they go in through the front of your abdomen to fuse your back. So they go in, make an incision in your lower abdomen, and it's right above the pelvis, so to speak, so right below the belly button, on the left side usually it seems like. Um, and they would kind of pull everything out of the way. And the, the most important things that they kind of need to move are the major blood vessels, the big aorta, the vena cava, big, huge vessels that um, are sort of right there. And it's kind of also right where they branch. They go from like, they come straight down. What is that? They come straight down and then they kind of fork um, to go into the femoral arteries, into your legs, also femoral veins, you know, blah, 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 blah. So... A lot of important things in that area so the key is to just very gently I'm gonna have to keep up with my highlighting because this uh, I've already gotten 23 stitches done what, what, what? Um, so so he's very important so he has to make sure that the vessels are protected while they go in and start doing all kinds of things in my on my spine um, so he's important for that surgery. And he does surgery with a number of different surgeons for this procedure. And as such, he kind of, his scheduler probably is some sort of like superstar scheduler because I'm sure they have so many different people to try to appease. But um, so he will pick certain days, you know, like, okay, this day I'm going to work with this doctor this day I'm working with that doctor and there's only so many of these procedures you can do in a day like four or something like that I think is the max and um so kind of have to just everything kind of has to fall in place and so that's why February 6th came back as the next option the poor uh uh, scheduler who called me she's so sweet um, she's been on top of everything and she's we've already had a couple of decent conversations and she's just funny um, she's like you're gonna be so mad when I tell you I'm like why am I gonna be so mad and she's like because it's not until February and I'm like well if it's not until February it's not your fault and uh, she was she was laughing it was it was it was funny that little conversation we had but anyway I really 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 it feels like it's gonna be December it just feels like it. It feels like this would not have been presented to me if, and I'm not saying that they're making a decision, you know, like they brought this to my attention because, you know, there's a good chance. It's really a 50-50. She flat out told me, she said, you know, the situation that the surgeon is trying to, the surgeon is in trying to get this approved. She's like, you know, this happens, you know, not all the time, but it happens, you know, some. And she said that, when ah, I can't see when the uh, there we go right to here hold on there we go um I'm gonna go back through so I did not realize I had that little of space left I'm gonna tuck this in I don't do a pin stitch to finish um because I just don't feel comfortable with it yet. And I should do it more, but I just haven't gotten that point yet. So I'm just going to trim the back. I'm also going to pull off that fabric. So I'm just going to turn, rotate that back around, bend that forward. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Uh, let's see here. Let me find some more stuff to work on. Uh, it just feels like it's going to happen in December, but easily could be wrong. There's always a chance there could be a cancellation, too. Um, I just want to get this done as soon as possible. Not only is it uncomfortable, but it's just like, you know, you always feel like you got to get some things going. You cleaning, husband? A little bit. <laughs> hey, 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 it's plugged in over here. I was still using it. Okay. Did you need it? I was going to do windows. You're going to do windows while I'm doing a video? No. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, that's my awesome husband talking about weather sealing the windows. Um, let me think here. What was I doing? Um, go back up here. Hmm. And now I gotta figure out exactly where I am and what I'm doing. Hi, Bailey. Now Bailey's over here wanting some attention. She's been very needy lately. Wow, I'm kind of stuck at the moment. Did I just do some stuff wrong? Ah, do some stuff wrong here. Okay, okay. Right here. Ah, right there. There we go. All right, down. I'll finish those half stitches in a minute here. There's that. One, two. But anyway, so we'll see. I want it done. Oh, and by the way, I told you guys I was going to create a new channel. I finally have new first video will be posted. Actually, when I finish um, finish recording this, I think that video will be ready for me to post on YouTube. Um, just more background of kind of what my case specifically is, um, how we got to where we are right now. I have a uh, family that I know is going to really be interested to follow along on that channel. Um, but get in there. Oh, what else going on? So yeah, I was working on some... I actually worked some on my old giraffe selfie cross-stitch last night. Last couple nights, actually. Um, got about a thousand stitches done on that one. I only have about 8,400 or something like that left. Um, which is totally doable. I, uh, I need to start kind of ripping through some of these, like, monochrome... Um, patterns that are like you know twelve thousand or less stitches because those those can absolutely be done in a month, less than a month. And uh, just to have some some more examples, and that was the other thing that I, I got to get done this weekend while there's still Black Friday sales going on. I wanted to get onto 
uh, my favorite framing place, Matt Board and More online. That is where I have been getting my framing stuff from. I got so much stuff to frame. I need to get my act together because you know how I do those videos and I usually put like the completed cross stitch stuff behind me. Well, I haven't had it to that in forever and I've had so many. Um, things that have been finished stitching by uh, finished stitched by Daphne and a few by myself and like come on let's get it let's get it there we go moving along One of the things we determined, for whatever reason, the um, when I sit downstairs um, in the more of the living room area, I'm sort of up in this uh, like an entry room where I've turned it into an office and I'm sitting in my computer chair. I had an older computer chair down there, and for whatever reason, I'm sitting in that chair trying to stitch and stuff like my back or not my back, my feet would just kill, um, and I. Uh, my problems right now my pain is actually in my feet and ankles um, mostly my right foot and ankle almost always my right foot and ankle with um, some scattering of pain in other locations sometimes depending upon what I'm doing and I found that it just has to do with how I sit so what I have to do is I have to either sit straight up or have to sit bending forward a little bit um, if the chair kind of makes me sit back at all, I can't do it. It'll it'll flare everything up um, because I think it just puts my back into slight into slight extension, and that will kind of crush things together more in my back than I want it to. So. Anyway, I was on um, some different sites looking around at some things, and um, I, I want to try the Fabric Flare company. I've never tried, I don't think I've ever had any of their fabric, and they have some really cool, like, hand-dyed stuff and different patterns and stuff that are on there that I think would complement my monochromes really, really well. It's just... Uh, you know, but I've got to get to that point. I've got to get other things stitched and be ready. Like, okay, this is my problem is just like, even just like a, the way I was just talking, like I jump from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next without finishing. That is my ADHD. And so I got to focus, got to focus, man. Hmm. I don't know why this made me think of this, but I um, started a new book, new book series, actually. Um, the Age of Myth. Uh, it's a fantasy book by Michael Sullivan. Michael O. Sullivan? Michael J. Sullivan? Something like that. Um, he wrote the Ryuria um, Chronicles. It's like a six book, six or seven or eight, or it was a lot. It was a lot of books. Um, I really, 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 really enjoyed it. And so, um, it came free on my Audible. Um, I think it was free on my Audible. It seemed like it was. I think that's where I got it. And so I um, started listening to it this week, and so far, I really like it. I was having a hard time, uh, oops, what am I doing? Yeah, seriously, what am I doing? What's going on? What, what happened? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hold on. No. Oh, okay, okay. I see what I... 
where I thought I was versus where I actually was. Okay. All right. That's why Pattern Keeper is so good. I can visually see very clearly where I'm at and what I need to do. Um. But anyway, it's it's a really good it's a really good tale so far, and it's it's a long series too. I want to say it's at least three books. It's been one of those things where I've looked at it for a long time. I just hadn't done anything about it. So, I try to listen to it at work. It's still difficult to listen to books at work. Um, sometimes I can do it depending upon what's going on. If um, if I can kind of be left alone in a sense. I hate to say it like I'm a grumpy person, but it's like somebody's trying to talk to me all the time. Hard for me to listen to a book. I've probably got a good seven, eight hours of listening in this week. So be looking forward to should be finishing this book up sooner than later. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna get the next one. I got the Iron Flame book. I just recently read Fourth Wing. It was, um, it's one of those books I kind of stumbled into for some reason. And at first I didn't like Fourth Wing. I thought it was a little too cliche. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. And then it was like, wait a second, when did this book get so good? I mean, it got so good. Um, so, anyway, I kind of want to leave that book. If I'm going to have surgery in December, I kind of want to leave the book until I'm sort of laying around in bed. Not able to do a whole lot, like right afterwards, and, and listen to that book at that time. But, we'll see how long I can actually hold out. Oops, did something weird there. Okay, continuing on. What was that? Something just... What's going on? Oh, Colorado and Utah are playing. Oh, so much college football. And I'm not watching anything. Do, 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 do. Eight years later, get a strand of floss. Here you go. I hear Harry Potter. Da 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 da. It, it is the season. Here we go. Rock on. All right. Let's see. I think I'm actually going to jump up here. See how dirty my white gets after it's been exposed for a bit. Too crazy. Okay, we're gonna go up here and do some stitching.
We did have some pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Hubs made some um, really awesome, like they're almost like these mini chicken pot pie kind of things where he, um, we did some chicken in the Instapot and then put some uh, corn and uh, peas and uh, cream of chicken and he put like the, the grand muffin mix in the, like a muffin pan and took half of it made a bottom and then poured everything on top and then um, and then put more of the um, the muffin top or whatever on, on the top part there and uh, oh it's so good when it's baked like that had it with some mashed taters and uh, it's so good and uh, yeah I liked it very much and so that was that was Thanksgiving and we had some leftovers yesterday I also got a pie it was kind of like should I get a pie not get a pie trying to lose some weight prior to surgery but I have been doing pretty well in the last couple week and a half or so a week and a half two weeks since I've known about this another three or four pounds down kind of thing I think it's been at least five years since I've been this been down to this weight I should say We don't have any plans for Christmas. We again, we don't really know what we're going to be doing, but we were just going to kind of keep it low key anyway with my back and everything. It's not like I can really go where anywhere and do anything. I really like the two-handed stitching though. Once I got once I got comfortable with it, I gotta tell you, man, what really flies is when I'm doing my monochrome. I'm gonna have to show you guys how fast I can stitch with my monochrome with a with two-handed stitching. Because when I do monochromes nowadays, I try to really always do them on 25 count. Because I can do a half stitch on 25 count, and from at least a foot away, you can't tell that it's half stitch. Well, I'm two feet away, and uh, from distance, it just looks like looks looks like art anyway. So, it's good stuff. Put my I needed to put lines in this for a little bit, but this needs some lines. Let's see, I'm gonna try and get a couple stitches done on the right here. So let's go here. And this. Yep, there we go.
106. Nice. Nice. Let me see how much more. Do some, but not a lot. I need to switch over to a different color. Let's see. figure out what color to do next. I thought I had A19, but I do. Or do I have it over here? Nope, that's not it. Okay. So, let me put this white back with this white. Or that 3865, I should say. Um, what else can I do? Let's see if I have anything that has a little bit of color in it. At least something that you can see. Oh, the other thing too is I'm using a slightly larger hoop today, so I can actually see the entire page, so to speak, or the row that I'm working on. So that's cool. That would be a way to do this pattern. You could literally take like one little 10 by 10 and just go straight across. That would be very meticulous. I do not have those jeans in me, that's for sure. It would take a little bit of time. Okay, Julie, what are you doing? You're still trying to find that 819 that you think is here. And it might be here. Is it here? Is this it? Nope, that's 543. Well, we, maybe we could do some 543. Let's see how many stitches we have to do. Bunch right around here. Let's just do those. Not a bunch, but you know, a, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Hmm. Let's cut the ends off of this. It's just a little messed up there. My brother's trying to tell me the scores of the Ohio State Michigan game. Let's see if I can just pop it up real quick so I can just see what's going on. Ooh, close game. Three, four minutes to go. Nice. Well, that'll take an hour. She gets got the ball up by three. Hmm, okay. Doop, 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 doop. Let's do this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting all kinds of different colors kind of wrapped up in this. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Cool. I can hear. Harry Potter music in the background. I'm hoping I don't get. I'm hoping that's not picked up on this. Not that it's a big deal, but I just don't want to be. You copyrighted our stuff. I'm like I didn't mean to. It wasn't planned. It's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Oh, it did snow. We got. We've gotten a solid inch and a half, maybe at this point. Two inches at the most. So it's at least it was a little cold and snowy for Thanksgiving, which is fairly common around here.
noise from these. Bada bada bing, bada bada boom. Let's see. Oh, that is where that is. Definitely want to focus on the monochromes. I say that and then I'll definitely focus on something with color. It just happens like that sometimes. Sometimes. And that color there that was a nice little chunk of I don't know 12 stitches or something a little extra color let's do that and that highlight all that okay okay ah. Got this super colorful one here. I wonder what that's for. I mean, I know what it's for. I just gotta find the different stitches that it's for. Maybe you could do that one too. Do, 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 do. Over here. I'm actually all the way over there. It's supposed to go back. Nope, does not go way back. Hmm. I'm thinking. I don't know if I really want to do that right now. All right, we'll do 712. Right in front of my voice. Nice. Oh boy. I'm gonna get a little bit of stitching done. Just a little more stitching done here. I got my scissor sharpeners somewhere. I know I got them. I got a pair. You put the scissors into this box thing and it sharpens the scissors, the scissors for you. Looks like it's 27-24 Michigan with just under two minutes to play in the fourth. Second and eight on the well, state 23. 23rd yard line. We should show timeouts on this that I'm looking at. Actually, if I went into the game cast, it would show me that. Show how many timeouts they have. Oh, that's a nice drive there. 11 plays, 54 yards, almost six minutes off the clock. That is how you win football games, people. But they need a touchdown. Field goal is not going to help them. Not really. Not really. Um, let's see here. I'm a little distracted. I don't know what for reason my ADHD has been a bit flary today. Not sure why. Well, 
flary most days, but some days I'm able to just kind of like hone in on it. There's something just, I don't know. I don't know. Going on in the brain. If you are at all interested in, in uh, my patterns, um, oh, speaking of my pat, or speaking of patterns, um, I'm now going to have a link to this pattern on these videos going forward. Um, forgive me for not remembering who it was that told me about this, but when you guys came out and told me that they found this pattern on Etsy. And we're gonna buy it and we talked a little bit about it and I was like cool that is so cool but I'm gonna have a pat I'm gonna have a link down below to that So let's see. That there. Over here. Over there. Over here. my hands working. It's a little chilly inside the house. That's why the hubs is going to put up the plastic wrapping around the windows. That's going to help a bunch. There we go. Here we go. Ah, come on. Cinch up a little bit. Cinch up. So, there's that. All right. I think I'm going to end the video on this today. I am uh, kind of want to watch the end of this game, but honestly, really, the back is starting to ache a little bit more than the feet. So, whenever that happens, I know I need to stop. So... You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed stitching. Enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. And I will talk to you soon.